whether you should buy this, this or any of these items. You will find out in this video because I am Sumit Onzari and you are watching Medical College Essentials. If you have clicked on this video, first of all, congratulations on getting into a medical college. This is a new chapter in your life and you need to start it with brand new things. So what all things you require to fill up your arsenal? Find out in this video by skipping to the time frame given on this side of the video. But first things first, let's talk about academics. As soon as you enter your medical college, for all practical purposes, you will require what something I like to call as a personal med kit. This kit you will have to form on your own and the first item in this kit is this hammer. This hammer will not only help you beat up your friends but also to check all the deep tendon reflexes that there are. This hammer will be used to test central nervous system in your physiology practicals and just make sure that this hammer has this tiny thingy which is used to test for fine touch. And also this pointy thingy which is used in something called as testing the Babinski reflex and also sometimes for testing for pain. Just make sure that you don't poke it anywhere like this. Ouch! Hey doctor, it's hurting. Please help me. How do you know I am a doctor? I don't have any name tag on. Your stethoscope doctor, that's how I identified you. Your stethoscope is the thing that will distinguish you from everybody else and it will give you a feel that now you have the power to save lives. Even the first year students don't even know how to wear it properly. Here, give it to me. Any brand stethoscope will do just fine. Just make sure that you can hear properly from this stethoscope and it isn't defective. If you want a high quality stethoscope, go and buy a stethoscope from a company called as Litman. Litman stethoscope are of extremely good quality and you can even customize this stethoscope by getting your name engraved on it. These are premium stethoscope for a premium doctor since it comes with a heavy price tag. But if you have money, go buy it. I bought this microtome stethoscope in my first year and it's working perfectly fine from there. The next item that you require is a pocket torch. You will require this pocket torch to test for pupillary reflex and for doing an eye examination probably in your third year. But it will also help you to look at places which are darker than you expect, like MBBS. And no, a flashlight of your phone will not work to test for pupillary reflex in your first year, since in exams, 4 is not allowed. Hey, what time is it? It's time to buy a new wristwatch. A wristwatch is a thing that you will definitely require right from the start of your first year. Your wristwatch is the thing where you will look when you check the pulse rate of a patient, when you check a respiratory rate of a patient, you will look at your wristwatch. When you are counting minutes of a boring lecture and waiting for it to end, you will look at your wristwatch. Your wristwatch will also enhance your look. So go and buy an aesthetic one. All these items that I told you till now are a one-time buy thing and they will be required in different stages of your MBBS journey. You will not require to replace these items unless you keep them at those dark places or someone steals them from you. However, the next item that I'm going to tell you is strictly limited to the subject called as anatomy. And to be more precise, it's limited to the dissection hall only. The item that I'm talking about is a dissection kit. A dissection kit mainly consists of a blade holder, different sizes of blade and a forcep and few other things here and there. You can ask your anatomy department whether your department provides you with a dissection kit or you have to buy your own. You can even ask your seniors whether they could lend their dissection kit to you. Otherwise, you can buy it anyways. It's not that costly. Another item strictly limited to the subject called as anatomy is this bone set. A human bone set is a must buy thing in first year of MBBS. First, check out with your college whether your college has a bone library that is a library which provides bone for reading purposes similar to books. If your college doesn't have that, you will have to buy a bone set. Now bone sets are of two types, synthetic ones which you can buy on Amazon or Flipkart or this natural human bone sets which either your anatomy department will provide you or you will have to buy them from your seniors. I will advise you not to buy a synthetic bone set from any online site. Buy a real bone set since all details are not present on synthetic bone. Consult with your seniors on the pricing of this bone set. First, check out whether it's a real bone set, whether it's bilateral and whether all bones of a human body are present 
in a bone set since a unilateral bone set and an incomplete bone set cost way less than a complete bone set as you guys will be going in the dissection hall and other labs you will also require one special commodity that i haven't mentioned yet and that thing is this apron about apron there are a few things that you have to keep in mind before buying it you have to check whether your college allows a half sleeve apron a full sleeve apron or apron with a your name on it or your college itself provides you an apron consult with your seniors and college authorities for the same buy this apron keep it preserved buy two aprons actually because one is going to be spoiled throughout your mbbs journey as we are talking about what to wear in the college there is this dress code that all mbbs colleges follow like you can't go in shorts into an opd or a classroom you will be thrown out immediately certain colleges also have uniform like scrubs or a uniform that we had actually way back in second year or there is a dress code for first 6 months like there is in aims that you have to wear all white now we will talk about the tech that a medical student needs to buy and the first thing in it that you might already have is a good phone this phone is used for ignoring your seniors text chatting with your girlfriend watching movies taking pictures and so many other things but it is also used for getting official notifications from your academic section and it's a must buy thing for a medical student if you are investing in a good phone that is always a good investment and never a bad one next up in tech we have these headphones either you will buy headphones or earphones depending on your choice along with the headphones there is also a need of a speaker i have this giant speaker which i regret buying because i can't take it anywhere other than my room good music can set up a good mood for you and your friends you can use it while you party and many other things the next thing we are going to talk about is an ipad now i am not talking about any other tablets but an ipad because ipad is the best tablet available there and using an ipad will help you make notes read certain books that are not available offline or are very costly it can also help you edit videos and do many other things along with an ipad you will also require an apple pencil to make notes and do other things if you buy an ipad you won't be requiring to buy notebooks and other books that are required in mbbs talking about books books is an entirely different topic and a bigger topic that we need to cover out separately so go check out the video link given in the description below where i talk about what books to buy in the first year of mbbs and lastly there are a certain obvious things that you need to buy in your first year of mbbs like a bag a bottle and some stationary items including notebooks pens highlighters sticky notes and a few small things that you will eventually figure out on your own If your college allows the use of vehicles in your campus you can buy a two wheeler or a four wheeler if you have a hefty bank balance and cover your MBBS journey smoothly and don't you forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome content see you in another video till then bye bye if you want to know how a day in a life of an MBBS student is click on this video